The China Africa Institute has organized a lecture in Tanzania as part of its objective to promote people-to-people -people exchanges between the People's Republic of China and Africa. The lecture featured renowned Chinese scholars who shared experiences on development, reforms, and governance with the African counterparts. CGTN's Isaac Lucando has more from Dar es Salaam. Uh, is to, uh, a lecture from Chinese academicians hoping to inspire change in Africa. In attendance are researchers and diplomats from Tanzania and its neighbors. Part of the focus of this lecture is learning about China's success in alleviating poverty. First, innovative development. That is, uh, 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 the economic growth should be innovation driven. Second, is uh, coordinative development. It, that is uh, co coordination between economic and the social development, coordination among regions and uh, between rural and the urban sectors. The 15th edition of the China Africa Lecture kicked off in South Africa on Thursday, with its second leg taking place in Tanzania. Leaders here see the existing relationship between Tanzania and China offering the perfect springboard for development. It has transcended the traditional government-to-government -government contacts and extended to people-to-people -people cooperation to the extent that the people of Tanzania and China call each other Rafiki, which means friend in the Kiswahili. Organizers of the lecture, the China Africa Institute, hope that experiences from China's achievements can serve as a reference for Africa's push towards poverty reduction. In this lecture, China's successes were set out, but so were its challenges, such as ensuring that its population keeps growing in order to yield economic benefits. Under the umbrella of mutual respect and cooperation, the hope is that China, too, is able to benefit from the knowledge and successes of African countries. Attendees of the lecture feel that to achieve development, Africa should do more in terms of improving its leadership. The Chinese leadership has not only been visionary, it has be, been people development oriented, but more importantly, it has walked the talk. They ensure whatever they plan, they implement. The China Africa Lecture's next and final stop is Ethiopia in the next few days. These academics hope that by building a knowledge base, Africa can begin to take the necessary steps to achieve its development goals. Isaac Lukando, CGTN, Dar es Salaam.